So it's 5.30 in the morning. I'm uh, not able to sleep. I'm uh, heading to RL Equipment today to look at my tractor. We're hopefully taking ownership on the 19th and then uh, I'll be able to uh, get to skidding some trees. That's the plan anyway. So something interesting. I don't know if you guys uh, noticed in uh, my first few videos, uh, it turns out that uh, the redness that I would see in my eye here, which is healing well, um, I'm allergic to trees. Uh, <laughs> so I've been cutting trees for the last couple of months uh, and my eyes have been itching and, 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 and there's been discharge. I thought that maybe uh, I had pink eye, so had some pink eye medication that didn't help. Uh, I did get some sawdust because I'm a putz and I took my glasses off because I was sweating and I couldn't see. And I kept wiping my face like you saw in one of the first videos with my glove, which touched the trees. Um, so none of that, none of that was helpful. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, <laughs> is not, not good when you're allergic to trees. Uh, so, uh, I got some special drops right now to sort of uh, reduce the, uh, inflammation and then I'm going to have some other drops I'll have to put when I cut trees to, uh, help with the allergies. So yeah, pro tip, uh, get really good protective eyewear and, uh, always wear your bucket <laughs> right now i'm gonna head to tim's i'm gonna grab a coffee my son elias is gonna come with me this morning to uh check out the tractor so i have a little something that i bought for frank at rl so i'm hoping that he's gonna enjoy that uh we'll see uh we'll take some video of him uh unboxing that so all right we're gonna put the phone away while i drive uh but we'll see y'all later yep so we made it we're here it's frank if you want to buy a tractor talk to talk to that that guy <laughs> he's giving me a great hand and uh gentleman and a scholar when it comes to salesmanship what do you think i think it's a bit small yeah oh, okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> take it easy bud <laughs> it, it's only a 1000 horsepower you know, oh no it's only 52 horsepower it's only <laughs> really yeah yeah. Your golf R has more horsepower. Oh yeah, but I think this thing will crush my golf R. <laughs> Most likely. Literally. We can test it. Uh, no? How about no? <laughs> I just got this in. We'll see if I can make some quick work out of uh, some of the brushery that you guys have seen on the back of the property. Still needs to be PDI'd, but uh, this is probably probably the the best shape it'll be in after I start using it, I guess. We'll see. How many dents I could put into that deck. <laughs> oh, we're going to do some damage with this thing. Oh, yeah, bud. So just about to leave RL. Had a really good time. Tried out the tractor a little bit and showed uh, my son Elias here uh, what that looks like. He thought it was going to be a tiny little little one series, but it ended up being uh, <laughs> a little bit of a surprise to him to see the, uh, the four series up close and in person. Uh, if everything works out, we'll be having a video next week of it arriving uh, on Thursday. So let's uh, keep our fingers crossed and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully with a little bit of luck, uh, we'll see the, the, the 4052R arrive uh, on the 19th. So back from RL equipment, I was so excited to give the gift that I bought Frank that I forgot to record it. Uh, we ended up getting him a uh, bottle of uh, a bottle of Dalmore 12 Scotch. He's a big Scotch fan, just like me. Um, so he he was uh, quite touched at the at the gift, and uh, but he's given me a lot of help in figuring out exactly what kind of tractor I need and all the things that I'll require in order to uh, to clear my land, my property. So instead of a fun video of uh, him unboxing his scotch, I'm going to show you a little something that I bought that there and that there.
So one of my neighbors is selling his farm and he had a little bit of equipment that he wanted to get rid of. So instead of buying a brand new, uh, ended up picking up this uh, Massey Ferguson competition plow. Uh, it's in really good shape, pretty happy with it. He, he ended up uh, straightening out whatever that's called. I, I don't know anything about, I don't know what things are called yet. I'm still learning. But basically, this must have bent by hitting something solid. Uh, but he bent it back for me, and uh, it's working. Looks like it's it's good to go. They ended up getting a uh, set of discs. So this is a set of Massey Ferguson discs. Uh, I'm not ho I'm not sure how old they are. It doesn't matter. They're still going to do the job. I've been uh, using some liquid wrench daily on that guy there because. Um, I need to take that out in order to fix him because he's broken. He broke. So yeah, so the plan is to uh, use this eventually. It will be a very long time before I clear any of that stuff to make fields. But eventually uh, I will have something to plow and something to uh, use this uh, set of disc arrows on. <laughs> um, I'm also uh, going to be receiving a set of uh, a set of uh, uh, chain harrows, and uh, I think uh, some spare parts for uh, for that uh, that disc harrow. I'm going to be heading there now and uh, taking a look at uh, some other gear that he has um, uh, to uh, raise broilers. So we'll see uh, what other things I can buy. Um, yeah, so we're going to head over there right now. What are you doing? Hey, how's it going? How are you doing, Kodak? Hey, Fuji Bear. Oh, slow mover. So excited. So happy. So happy. Good boys. Hey, bud. How you doing, chum? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. got back from uh, my friend's place selling his farm. We picked up a couple of goodies. Got some water feeders, I guess you would call that. Then we got some, uh, these are buckets, I guess, for when you have lambs. Uh, you could uh, feed the lambs or, or, or provide milk to the lambs. I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. And I was pretty stoked about these guys. We're gonna make ourselves a chicken plucker. So in the future, we're gonna have a project, chicken plucker project. So these are exactly what I wanna need. These are just regular water barrels and uh, we will convert one of them into, into a plucker. And then over here, John Deere. He sold me a set of chain arrows. Pretty happy about that. So I put everything on the wagon for now, so it doesn't uh, doesn't rust. And now next, uh, I'm gonna be heading to his place with the tractor come uh, next week. And I've got another set of discs. I'm gonna get is a five uh, a five foot uh, set of discs. Uh, I have a six foot one in the back uh, that I showed you earlier, uh, and I'm probably gonna use the other one for parts. So. It'll be the first time that I hook up uh, another kind of implement to the tractor. So yeah, looking forward to that. So I'm at my mom's place. I need to clear a trail. I'm going to be skidding trees from over there. I don't know if you guys can kind of see the tree. <laughs> okay, still getting used to this. The trees over there. I'm going to probably use this guy here there as a uh, as a tree uh, like a sacrificial tree so when I when I turn the corner it'll turn like it's on a set of wheels I saw a YouTube video on that so I figured I'd give it a shot and then I'll just cut them down later and the idea is that today I'm going to clear that I don't have my brush cutter yet so 
if I had my brush cutter, I'd make quick work out of this stuff. But for now, I'm going to cut some of these and uh, I'll have a staging area just over here where I'm going to skid the trees and then I'm going to, I'm going to limb them and then uh, I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to limb them. I have to figure out what kind of lengths I want to make and then, and then make a wood pile. So I'm probably going to take some of these, uh, these uh, ash, uh, poplars or birches as, uh, as a base and then uh, put the other logs on top of that. So, yeah. So I'm going to get to it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So bad. So I have a little bit of stuff here to clear. Uh, but I'm uh, gonna take the root rake, rack, uh, root rake grapple. Gonna snag all these little branches. Probably carry that to a pile that's just over there. And the idea is that we're gonna skip the trees from over there, come around that tree there. And then probably going to bring them straight here. I am going to limb them all here. Then once they're limbed and cut into lengths, I'm gonna grab them and start setting up a wood pile that's gonna span over here, ready to get loaded on the wagon. That is my plan. That's it for today, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it here. A little tired, like I said before at the beginning of this video, woke up at like 4 a.m., couldn't sleep, so excited to get the RL equipment and see uh, see my 4052R and, the, and Frank. So I'm gonna go uh, spend the rest of the afternoon with my family and uh, we'll see you all later. Yep. Mm hmm.